Hi, everybody, and welcome back to Mile High Huddle here at Sports Illustrated. I am your host, Kim Becker, and joining me is ESPN college football analyst Jim Mora Jr. Jim, we're going to jump right into this and talk about the whole quarterback situation with the Denver Broncos. Obviously, the media, fan bases, even the team has been wondering if Drew Locke is going to be the guy here for the 2021 season. So, in your opinion, what do you think the Denver Broncos should do? Should they stick with Locke? Should they shoot high for someone like Deshaun Watson, maybe draft a guy. What are your thoughts? Well, I think those three options are probably still on the table. You know, I, my concern with Drew Locke is if you move on from him, do you have a, a body of work large enough to make the determination that he's not your guy? Conversely, do you have the body of work that that indicates that he is your guy. And I don't think that they have the body of work to be able to evaluate them, which I think puts them in a really tough spot. Certainly Deshaun Watson is going to add value to any team. I mean, you know, the things that he can do on the football field, the value he brings, uh, his skill, his talent level is, is off the charts, but you have to weigh the cost benefit, you know, I mean, to get a guy like Deshaun Watson, you're going to have to give up a lot. And when you're a team that's trying to build, like the Denver Broncos are trying to build, um, giving up draft picks, giving up players, creating other holes to to create space to get Deshaun Watson, that's very, very risky. You know, as good as he may be, it may not be enough to overcome the holes that you've created, you know, having to make make that acquisition. Um, I'm a big fan of Mac Jones. You know, I, I like Mac Jones. I, I do believe in his body of work as opposed to Drew Locke's, and I have respect for Drew Locke. The body of work was at a different level. It was at the collegiate level, but it was at Alabama, you know, and, and it was so consistent. So I don't know what they're going to do. You know, <laughs> I don't think anyone knows what they're going to do. Uh, it, it all comes down to how they feel about Drew Locke. It really yeah. does. And I don't know that we're ever going to we're not going to get the true indication of that until they either go and figure out a way to get to Sean or they draft at number nine and, and pick Mac Jones. And on that day, we're going to have a very, very clear picture of what they think of Drew Locke. So that's that's the key right there. Yeah, I feel like all we've been talking about is all these hypothetical situations. And, you know, we've been talking over at Mile High Huddle about when any quarterback becomes available or even just in the slightest might become available, the Denver Broncos fan base is just like scraping at the bottom yeah. of the barrel, you know, being like, let's get him, let's get him. But Isn't yeah, that like fun? Said, <laughs> seriously. <laughs> It's not fun if you're Drew Locke and you have to no. listen to all this speculation, you know. And here's the other thing. He, he, he's, he hasn't played much, you know. I mean, no. you know, not only – not just but a few years ago, quarterbacks were given a chance to develop. You know, they sat behind a great player. They learned the game. They learned how to prepare. Uh, they got some reps late in games. Or they got a lot of preseason time. And then they were given a little bit of a grace period. Nowadays, I mean, we are – right. Hey, we want results right now. You know, and that's that's a tough, tough thing for a guy like Drew Locke coming into the league or any of these other young quarterbacks that have, you know, a couple of deficiencies they have to overcome. Yeah, you hear people compare Drock to Drew Locke to Patrick Mahomes or, you know, Tom <laughs> Brady. I'm like, what are you yeah. guys doing? Don't do that. <laughs> Don't do that. Don't completely do that. different situation, completely different player. But, yeah, I agree, Drew Locke, especially with this 2020 season and not having, you know, the – off season that they're used to having all those reps before the season actually started. And then yeah. the Denver Broncos had that one week where they had zero quarterbacks available right. because, you know, Ribbon and Locke and Driscoll were all off and Kendall Hinton had to jump in. So that's got to mess with your head too. But I yeah. think people say that about Drew Locke as well, that he's in his head a little bit, you know, he's, he needs to kind of get over that emotions, but he's young, yeah. right? Yeah. I think it, that's hard for young quarterbacks is I don't think they understand the volatility of the NFL and how critical people are immediately of their performance. You know, people, when you're getting paid the way these guys are getting paid and you're dealing with people that have the passion that they have towards their team, you have to have some thick skin and you have to be able to, to compartmentalize things. And you can't, like you said, you can't get in your own head and still start to overanalyze. You have to stay focused. Uh, I think a great indicator of that is a, is a guy like Baker Mayfield. You know, Baker Mayfield was so highly... Uh, not criticized, but critiqued, yeah. you know, his first couple of years and even into this year. And then the last 10 games, he just caught fire. Uh, 
So I think that the whole key here is what are the what are the Denver Broncos doing to help Drew Locke? And, and if they're not doing it to help him, then it shows that, hey, maybe we're ready to move on from them, from him. Now, nobody's going to know him better than they do. They're with him, you know, eight to 10 hours a day, all day, every day during the season. Certainly, they didn't get the offseason work last year. Hopefully, they do this year. But they've got a big decision to make, um, and they've got some great options. So that's a positive. Well, Jim, hopefully you and I will be able to talk about this decision once it has been made 100%, you know, coming up here in the next couple of months. But I appreciate you taking the time today. Thank you so much on your thoughts on Drew Locke and everybody else in this situation. And we will chat soon. My pleasure, Kim. Take care.